I just have a quick update for you on the situation in China. We have some official, semi-official government leaks indicating that the demographic data from the recent year is so bad that the Chinese population has probably already peaked. So the original thinking was it was going to peak in the 2030s at some point. And then by the time we got to 21,000 that we had half as many Chinese as we do today. It's one of the big reasons why I have been so bearish on all things Chinese. I mean, the population is in the early stage of collapse. But if we have already faked in 2021, then that would suggest that we have a much more accelerated fall off. And that the Chinese are going to be a majority retired population in just 20 years and that China will have have as many people in 2070 and if that's the case the free fall has already begun and so any conversation about China being a demographic or a consumption based or an economic or strategic or a global power goes from being something that I have always found a little assuming <coughs> To just completely irrelevant to the conversation and it will also obviously change how the Chinese feel about themselves if they know that they are losing people every single year and I just want to underline one thing if this is true and if this is what the data the real data really says then one of two things is true number one the Chinese birth rate has fallen a lot more quickly than we expect and it has it has had record falls already for three years in a row it's already the first time egging society in the world or where covid hit them a lot harder than we have than they have lot on and it's doubled their death rate or some combination of the two regardless of what the truth is the end result is that china is already fading away and that Respect shares everything in the way the world. Okay, thank you for watching geopolitical analysis.